Hello and welcome to another outdoor video vlog by yours truly. This time it is actually sunny. Hurrah! My sixth world camp for 2023. And finally the sun is shining on me. There's a bit of a breeze though, the usual apologies for the wind noise, but it's not too bad today. It's a lovely day. Um, I'm in the upper Estelle Valley. Um, behind me, there, if this is picking it up right, that's the highest mountain in England, Scaffold Pike. The second highest is right next to it, Scarfell. So that, if you're ever wondering, that's what it looks like. It's the highest mountain in England. By world standards, it's not massive, but in the UK, in the UK with our climate, it's um, you know it can it does cause a lot of uh, call outs from the mountain rescue. So when you're this far north and you you've got a Atlantic climate that we have, the Irish Sea isn't far away from here, or the Atlantic Ocean. Um, the weather can change rapidly. So, Enough of that, enough mountain speak. I'd like to talk about uh, teamwork, makes the dream work. And by that I mean, you know, it, it's good It's good to be a solo and do, do stuff on your own and, and go your own way and follow your own path to an extent. But I think collaborating is, is it, you know, somewhere along the way at least, is, is so much more fun, so much more um, enjoyable. And fulfilling and that um, certainly uh, it, in my case at the moment you know with the album and that me and Michael are collaborators co-producing it recording it well Michael's doing the recording he's engineering it uh, I wrote the songs for it and he's done some wonderful lyrics for it and he's singing on it so it's a true collaboration there and then we've we've roped in say roped in <laughs> sounds a bit dodgy that didn't it? I thought we press gang them in there but uh, we've we brought in um a couple of pals of ours Vic and Andrew and they've been putting like live drums down as I've said in other vlogs if you've seen other vlogs you know all this but if you haven't um we, we managed to record the album uh using drum tracks if you will and then we decided that at the end of it that though it was, it was really good and we liked it it just we, what, what's it going to sound like with the uh, real drums on it so we, we've we, I should say Michael really he struggled through a few technical issues there how to, how to bring that about and he, he did it you know uh, all, all props to him for that um, so yeah it's it's nice to be solo it's nice to be in control I'm just going to get some more of these mountains and it's just, bow fell there and all that malarkey these are huge mountains by English standards. It's just such a wonderful spot. Um, yeah, it's it's great to be solo and have control of what you're doing, but I think collaborating is 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 a wonderful way of bringing projects to fruition. Um, it's interesting, really, because I know one or two solo uh, singer songwriters recently have, have stated they they. They, they want to move into having a band. Um, it came out, I suppose it you know, would be a bit lonely as a solo singer-songwriter, but uh, yeah, cool. Definitely, I would, I would urge anyone, you know, you, you, don't, you don't have to give up your solo career, do you? You know, you, your open mic stuff or your solo gigs, but um, you, know, you can have the band as well. But definitely, it's more fun when you, you're with other musicians, players. So that brings me on to something that's been irking me a bit. I wanted to stay out of it a bit, to be honest, but um, I think I just want to get off my chest now, which is that the, the, all this bands miming to backing tracks malarkey, it's, it's doing my head in, to be honest with you. I mean, there's that certain band in America there, um, currently on their final, 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 final stadium tour. Um, yeah, what's that about? They dump, they dump the guitar player, and uh, and it turns out like basically on these sort of tours I've been doing in recent years that they've been actually miming to backing tracks. Um, I think I know you know one of the band I'm talking about. So 
why why are you doing that it's just people are paying good money to watch you play live um they want the energy of the musicians playing live and feeding off the audience how can you feed off the audience if you're just miming to a back into it absolutely appalling really um helen's gonna helen with her pals are gonna go and watch this specific band um in the summer um in uh Lytham, St Anne's and um good luck to her. She's a massive fan. I, I've been along with her to see him loads of times, but uh, I won't go and watch it personally if they're gonna be miming especially like but uh, yeah. There you go. It's not great. i I should counter that with if people are using backing tracks to um you know ex like, like if you like when you see Queen do live do Bohemian Rhapsody, and they they just they they drop out and it's like Freddie and the original video on screen doing the the um, operatic part to it. You know, there's no way they can reprodu reproduce that live, and it's only part of the song. And I can that I totally get and understand if if it's a part of a song that just can't be replicated, but it's really popular, and it's just for one song or it's just the odd bit of uh, you know keys or, or or backing vocals here on one or two specific songs they just simply can't replicate what is so important to the song i've no problem with that at all but uh, to do a whole show is taking the mick a little bit really isn't it so that just remains me to say uh, thanks for watching um keep well stay well and uh on this gloriously sunny day, I'll see you all later. Bye.